This training is being held at the Rwanda Peace Academy in Musanze District. It deals with top management in post-war and conflict-ridden countries in terms of peace building and reconstruction in general based on how to compare elsewhere. Colonel Jill Rutarimara returns to emphasize what unites the generals. As soldiers, they should sit and discuss their problems because they were once united and splintered into different groups. If you noticed, even their uniforms are now different. Just as their Honorable Minister told them, they should sit down together, because even now, they still sit down in separate groups. But that cannot continue. On a positive note, they're willing to talk about their issues and learn from Rwanda, and we believe that it will be beneficial for them. Rwanda's Minister of Defense and his South Sudanese counterpart inaugurated the training. Rwanda's Minister of Defense noted that the role of the military and the police in rebuilding the country in the aftermath of the war and unrest is very important, especially drawing from the actions of Rwandans after ending the genocide against the Tutsi and liberating the country. The military and police in any country cannot claim to have magic answers to all the problems facing their countries. However, they can play a significant role in national reconstruction as well as state and nation building. The Rwanda Defense Force, RDF, has played enormous role in the construction and transformation of Rwanda. To achieve this, the Rwanda Patriotic Army, which was the armed wing of the Rwanda Patriotic Front, RPF, had first to be into the army across section of Rwandans from all parts of the country. The Minister of Defense emphasized that in order to achieve all this, it requires going back to the history of the people and taking a step forward in rebuilding their country with a greater focus on what unites them rather than what divides them. South Sudan's Minister of Defense and Veterans Affairs says the changes that Rwanda has made since 1994 are a good example and that is why they are in Rwanda on the study tour. They can also experience the live uh, example of what has taken place here. They have visited the Kigali uh, Memorial uh, uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday as they arrive, and that is a very important experience uh, for us to learn what needs to be done by the organized forces to contribute to national reconciliation and healing. The entire South Sudanese delegation has noted that there is much it can learn during the visit. The training has been organized by the Rwanda Peace Academy in collaboration with the United Nations Institute for Training and Research. Mngari Jade, RTV News.